Welcome to this video on probability. Now, probability is a mathematical concept used in everyday life, especially in industries like healthcare, finance, and business. So, what is probability? Well, probability is the likelihood or the chance that a specific event will happen. Most of us use probability to help us make decisions when considering events that could be a risk to us. So, for example, what are the chances I'll catch a flu if I have to work in the rain today? Or, we've had such sunny weather this week, I think the likelihood of a rainstorm tonight are very low. Probability also helps us when we are making decisions about events that offer opportunities for us. So we might ask, what is the likelihood of finding a buyer for my car if I list it for sale on the internet? Or, if I buy three raffle tickets instead of a one, perhaps I could increase my chances of winning the big prize. Now we know how probability is used in everyday life, whether it's to minimize risks or maximize opportunities. But let's take a closer look at probability. Probability enables us to make decisions with a level of confidence that a specific event will occur. Now, probability values range from 0 to 1, where a probability of 0 indicates that it is, impo it is impossible for the event to occur, whereas a probability of 1 indicates that it is certain that the event will occur. So, let's take a look at a grocery scenario. A grocery store manager has just received an early morning delivery of 50 cartons of oranges. She has also been informed that two cartons contain a few damaged oranges, but she doesn't know which ones they are. Before she has any time whatsoever to arrange her stock, a customer arrives at the store and picks up one carton of oranges. So, did that customer pick up a carton with damaged oranges? What do you think? Well, since we don't have the options of checking the cartons, we can do either of two things. We can take a random guess, but random guesses are not supported by facts and therefore are less reliable and not suitable for making important decisions. We also have the option of determining the probability, and probability requires us to have the facts and this makes it more reliable and therefore also suitable for making important decisions. In order to determine the probability, we have to apply the facts and information we have to the probability formula. Now, the probability formula indicates that the probability of an event equals to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. If we apply the probability formula to our grocery store scenario, we get something like this. The number of cartons containing damaged oranges divided by the number of cartons of oranges at the store, which is 2 divided by 50, and that gives us 0 0.04. So the probability that the customer picked up a carton with damaged oranges is 0 0.04. And therefore, we can conclude with confidence that it is very unlikely that the customer picked up a carton with damaged oranges. Okay, so here are a few things to remember about probability. Probability is concerned with events, and there are different types of events. And determining the probability of an event depends on the type of event involved. Let's look at independent events first. Now, independent events are events that are not affected by other events. For example, watching TV and eating breakfast. Now, for such events, if we have two independent events, A and B, it will be possible for us to determine the probability of event A and the probability of event B. How? By multiplying probability of A by probability of B. Second, we have dependent events, also known as conditional events. Such events are affected by previous events. For example, if you have a box of 24 chocolates and share it with friends, each time a friend takes a chocolate out, you will have less chocolates in the box. 
In such a case, where you have two dependent events, it will be possible to determine the probability of event A and the probability of event B given A. Third, we have mutually exclusive events. These are events that cannot happen at the same time. It's either one or the other. For example, if you toss a coin in the air, it will land on head or tail. Never both. For such, if you have two mutually exclusive events, it will be possible to determine the probability of event A or the probability of event B, which is calculated by adding probability of A and probability of B. Lastly, we have the non-mutually exclusive events, which are events that can happen at the same time within each other, meaning they overlap. For example, you can have rain and sunshine happening at the same time. In such a case where you have two non-mutually exclusive events, A and B, it is possible for us to determine the probability of A or the probability of B by subtracting the probability of A and B. Great! So we've looked at probability as something we find very useful when handling risk or trying to maximize opportunities. And we've also looked at probability values which range from 0 to 1, from certain to impossible, from unlikely to highly likely. We've also looked at probability and its different types of events. Independent events, dependent events, mutually exclusive events and non-mutually exclusive events. In any case, probability is a likelihood or the chance that a specific event will happen. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.